drink juices, I don't drink sodas, I don't drink alcohol, I don't do anything, but I talk more. Hitting all, all three muscles of the glutes today. What we're doing is we're incorporating a HIIT training, high intensity interval training. So these girls that are wanting to sculpt and not do long steady states amount of cardio, but they're wanting to really get their heart rate up, what they're doing is they're really shedding fat and they're getting tighter and leaner because of it. Day five is about scheduling and what we did is we actually wrote down five of our physical goals that we want to achieve. Then what we did is we wrote a calendar that is going to be coordinating to what those goals are. As I'm going through each one of the girls, I'm making sure that their goals are lining up into their schedule to make sure that they're not overdoing cardio or they're at least meal prepping in there. Uh, shrink stomachs, increase abs, uh, build booty, overall tone, increase energy and reduce body fat percentage. Drink the stomach and the abs, so we're gonna need to do, let's, how many, I love it. Hit with abs, perfect, and hit with days. abs. <laughs> three days with the hit and abs, and where's my grocery shopping and meal prep? Beautiful, she's grocery shopping on Wednesday and she's meal prepping on Sunday. So building a booty, she's doing that with me, so that will be Monday to Friday that we're gonna be hitting our glutes. Uh, overall tone, so back, back, back and biceps and chest and triceps. At least we're having two different days in there. Look, increased energy, a multivitamin, a, like B12. I would also say energy comes a lot from water intake. And what's your last one? Reducing the body fat percentage. You got it, girl. That was an awesome schedule. Okay, so sculpt all over, finally see abs, <laughs> gain more energy, and fit back into my wardrobe. <laughs> Sculpting all over, so you're going to want to be doing all three things. It's the cardio, the eating, right, and then the, the weightlifting. Um, gain more energy, so you're also going to put water intake on your thing. Make sure that you're paying attention to how much water you should be drinking a day. How much water should you be drinking a day? Eight cups of water. <laughs> okay, that's a great start. And are you doing that, by the way? No. Okay, she's not doing it, so that's why, she's, that's why she's not having that much energy and fit back into your, your, your clothes. So that goes hand in hand with the cardio, the, the weights, and the diet, okay? That is what's gonna get you that sculpting all over, which is perfect. So good job on that. So lose fat percentage, get lean, sculpt my body, muscles all over, eat less sugar, because that's my problem. Every day I have to have chocolate. So what I'm trying to do now, <laughs> is like putting less and less, not cutting the whole thing because I know I'm gonna be like freaking out, but I'm cutting like one square here and there. You're honestly already doing it. The fact that you've already kind of slowly cut it back, um, sugar is very, very addicting. You're so make a challenge to yourself right now to just completely cut it out, but what I liked instead is that she slowly limit it out and eventually she will cut it out. So you told me the last time that we were doing about three or four days of cardio, but we were only doing about one day of like actually like resistance. Just sit down, kind of look at your schedule again and see when it is that you can put weightlifting in to get you faster and faster to the, your sculpting desires. That you so great job girls, let's go ahead and get our exercise in. That completes our day five. Hi girls, so this is my most favorite workout that I'm giving the girls tonight. You can tell that what they're, what they're doing is they're incorporating the bands with stairs. When they get to the bottom of the stairs, they're doing what's called a jump squat, which looks like this. You go down into a squat and pop up. I'm noticing, I'm, I'm calling out Sydney, I'm calling you out, because I don't want other girls to do this. When she's jump squatting, she's more into her toes, which is more into your quads. You want to make sure you're more into your heels, so you're, you're more back and into your glutes more. Then when they're coming up from the stairs, they're just going into either back kicks or into side kicks, 10 on each leg, and they're doing that a total of 10 times tonight, and then they'll be done. So some of them only have seven left, some of them have nine left. So here's the stairs. When they're running down the stairs, they're making sure that they're pushing against that resistance band, so they're really strengthening those hips and knees. And they're choosing the level three band. Well, I chose it for them. Kind of jealous, kind of want to do this with them. exercise is great for not only hip strength and not only knee strength, but it also is definitely great for the glutes because you're hitting all 
three areas, all three muscles of the glutes today. What we're doing is we're incorporating, it's called the HIT training, eh, eh, high intensity interval training. So these girls that are wanting to sculpt and not do long steady states amount of cardio, but they're wanting to really get their heart rate up, what they're doing is they're really shedding fat and they're getting tighter and leaner because of it. So that's why we're doing the, the stair runs. So the need of the foot, the foot goes this way or that way? Good question. So when you're leading with your side of your foot outward, you're going to actually be working the side of your leg. And I want to work more of my glutes, so I'm going to lead more with my heel with a flexed foot, feeling my glutes squeeze, and then come back down. So not as much to the side, but more with the foot straight back. 